In this video, I am going to show you how to install and run Geotech Perma 2 Data Monitor software. To install Data Monitor software, insert the Perma 2 CD into your CD-ROM drive. From the My Computer, go to your CD-ROM drive in the Software folder, click on the Perma 2 DM.MSI file. This will launch the setup wizard. Follow the instructions to install the Perma 2 DM on your PC. After the installation is completed, Perma 2 DM icon will appear on your desktop. Click on the Perma 2 icon to launch the data monitor software. If the device is not connected properly or if it is switched off, a message box will appear on the screen. Make sure that the device is connected to the PC and it is switched on. Then click on the retry button. The main menu bar at the top of the screen consists of File, Controls, Tools, and Help options. In order to start a test, click on File, then click on New. This will launch the new project wizard. Fill in the required information such as project name and the destination folder. The output files of the project will be saved in the destination folder. You can also fill in additional information such as the operator name and the special notes. Select the ASTM C1202 test method from the top drop down menu at the bottom of the page, then press OK. ASTM C1202 form will appear on the screen. On the top left part of the screen, you can find the control keys. These keys will be used to start the test, visualize test results in chart, and to save the final test results. Four test channels on the device are represented by four different columns on the display. The user can assign any particular name to these channels. Select the active test channel, which are channels that test cells are connected to. Make sure that the test cables and the temperature sensor are properly connecting to the test device and to the test cells. Assign the sample ID name to the selected channels. When you are done, click on the Run key to start the test. As soon as the test begins, a timer will be activated, displaying the remaining time of the test. The values of the electric current, temperature, and total electric charge will be displayed on the screen. The user can see the test results on a chart. Click on the chart icon to visually monitor the total electrical charge. When the test is finished or after the user has manually stopped the test, the results can be saved. Click on the Save button to save the test results. The output file will be saved in the destination folder. In order to perform a test according to the ASTM C1760, Click on File and click on New. In a similar way, fill in the required information. From the Test Method menu, select ASTM C1760 method and press OK. This will launch the ASTM C1760 test form. In a similar approach, select the channels that will be active during the test. You can assign a name to each concrete sample. You can also modify the size of test specimens if they are different from the default values. 
Press the Run button to start the test. The timer on the top right corner of the form will display the remaining time of the test. The value of fault conductivity of the concrete sample will be displayed at the end of the test. The test results will automatically be saved in the destination folder. When an upgrade to the firmware of the device is available, the user can upgrade their device on their own. From the Tools menu, select and click the Firmware Upgrade icon. Make sure that the device is booted in the Firmware Upgrade mode. Refer to the manual for this procedure. If the device is not loaded in the Firmware Upgrade mode, the user is asked to turn off the device and turn it on in the Firmware Upgrade mode by pressing the up key and turning on the device. When the device is connected, the name and serial number of the device will be displayed. Select the .hex and the .eep upgrade files provided by Geotech. When you are ready, click on the upgrade file to start the upgrade process. Wait until the upgrade process is complete. When completed, the device will be ready for testing. The user can verify the accuracy of PERMA2 by the verification kit provided. From the Tools menu, click on Device Verification. Ensure the channels on the device are properly connected to the verification kit. Click on Run to start the verification process. When the verification is complete, the results will be displayed for each channel. Thank you for watching and learning about PERMA2.